So if you haven't really checked into the state of gaming on a Chromebook in a little while, you might not realize just how good Nvidia's GeForce Now has become. Since the death of Stadia, you know, it's kind of taken up the reins for cloud gaming on a Chromebook. And it's gone from this service that at one point in time didn't even work in a browser. Like Stadia was doing that thing way before Nvidia was to becoming so good that it's sometimes a little bit shocking, a little bit jarring to use this and see how good these big games run on a Chromebook. So along with a few new announcements that Nvidia has put together for CES 2024, we just want to show you how good GeForce Now is, even on a Chromebook that's not at all built for gaming. So for this video, I don't have a ton of stuff planned and this whole like outline of what we're gonna do. I really just want to show you how good this has become because we haven't done a video on GeForce Now in a while. And a year ago, you know, they, they updated a lot of stuff to really reduce latency. It was already pretty good, but they, they did even more stuff with Reflex and all this crazy stuff that they're doing uh, on the server side to where it's almost indistinguishable from, I would say it is indistinguishable for most people, uh, whether they're playing on a console or a PC or on GeForce Now. And we even sat in a demo uh, out at Vegas last year where we didn't know what was what. Like one was GeForce Now, one was like a 3080 level card and like a 4080 level uh, um, GPU. And we three of us sat there and we were connected to servers that were in California. So it wasn't like we were, you know, on some special servers in Vegas and, and me and two other random people were sitting there playing this game. And then the crowd behind us was trying to figure out like which one's which, and we all missed it. Uh, and we all said that the GeForce now version of the game looked the best. And so they've had another year's worth of time to, uh, continue changing some of those things. So like, you know, they have web-based, uh, uh, G-Sync now. So if you have a G-Sync monitor, uh, it's soon uh, a lot of games will actually take advantage of G-Sync just like they would if you were running the stuff local. Uh, so it'll kind of sync up your frame rates with the frame rates that are actually being streamed in. So everything looks even smoother than before, uh, which is pretty cool. And they've just made more strides with their reflex technology, getting latency down to basically nothing. I mean, we have a good internet connection here, but it's not like the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I have a decent internet connection at home, but again, I've jumped on games where I'm streaming over, you know, my 5G connection on my phone and it's just fine too. I don't really notice much difference. So, but the big thing that they announced at CES that, that really, I think will help some people give this a real try, uh, are their new day passes. And so uh, you've got a free tier of GeForce Now, and right now you can see on the screen GeForce Now on the free tier, uh, currently at capacity. That probably happens a lot. Uh, they, they don't have a lot of bandwidth there for free. Uh, you got one hour session length. So I mean, if you're cool with waiting an hour, eventually somebody's going to drop off and maybe you'll get in. Uh, but clearly paying for uh, the service is kind of how you want to go. If you go priority, uh, you can go one month. I want to say, oh, and it's sold out. I don't even know what that means exactly, but they're only going to have so many people they're going to let on priority. Um, you can do one month at a time. They will let you do the six month there for 50 bucks. And then you've got, uh, yeah, Ultimates uh, packed up right now too. But if you want to do six months, they'll go ahead and let you in the door there too. But you have day passes now. So uh, for uh, $3.99, I think it is. I want to say it's three bucks, four bucks, something like that, and seven or eight dollars for um, for the Ultimate. Uh, that gives you access for one 24-hour um, cycle to either one of those tiers. So you can actually try it. You can try it in your home, you can try it in your office, you can try it on your phone. However it is you think you'll be using GeForce Now, you can try it. And you have 24 rolling hours. So if I started right now and say it's two o'clock in the afternoon, I've got till two o'clock tomorrow afternoon to try it. It's not just the rest of the day. And I think at those kind of prices, that's something like, you know, that's a, a coffee drink, you know? And so skip a latte or whatever, and give this a try and see, you know, see if it's something that would work for you. Cause I think a lot of people are skeptical that this can actually be as good as people like me are saying it is, or like that Nvidia is saying it is. And I'm like, if you don't try it, it's hard for you to know the minute that you actually give it a try. It is pretty wild how uh, convincing this can be. And where it used to be this gimmick to just be like, wow, it's actually working. Like it's moving my stuff and my keys are working. Like that's, we've gone so far past that now it is, so fun to play these games. I mean, I get demolished in them. I don't spend enough time playing them, so I'm bad at them. Um, but it's still so much fun to see graphics like this. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna run a game for just a few minutes just so you can see, but it's so much fun uh, to watch a game in motion 
uh, on a Chromebook that clearly can't run anything like this, running so well at such high frame rates with such clear graphics, um, it, it's it's just a, a really cool thing to behold. So um, without any further ado, let me actually just jump in, play a few minutes of, of, uh, uh, of a game. There's a new game. Uh, I'll talk about some of that here in a minute, but called The Finals. Uh, that I've been kind of getting into, but let me jump into a game and just just show you kind of where we're at with GeForce now. All right, so I've got it loaded up uh, in a window here, and you know it's important to remember like GeForce Now's strengths are uh, its performance. Like it's really good. The latency is really low. The graphics look fantastic. Like that's that's where they've spent their time and their money. But like this is a this game's a perfect example. When I when I launch uh, the finals. I see the the virtual desktop that I'm jumping into for, a, I don't know, on this one actually, it was like 30 or 60 seconds. Uh, you see the Steam dashboard and stuff like that. So, I mean, they don't cover up everything the way that they should. Um, but, you know, once you've linked up your Steam account, cause you can link up Steam, you can link up your Xbox uh, PC Game Pass account, you can link up um, uh, Bethesda and more are coming, I think. Um, once you link those up, any of those games that you have purchased, I mean, you'd still have to put this, you know, this is a free to play game, but you, if you want to play modern uh, or not uh, modern warfare three, for instance, call of duty, um, that's a paid game. So I'd have to buy that in steam, but once it's bought in steam, that, that license would work, uh, while I'm in here. So, uh, free to play games like this, apex legends, Fortnite, that kind of stuff. I can play call of duty warfare or Warzone, Um, yeah, which is their, their free to play battle Royale. I can do that. Uh, that, which is what I play on here. Uh, and that brings me to, I, I was, I was going to say, uh, I'd wait for that. Um, and by the way, I'm, I'm going to get destroyed here, so don't laugh at me. Um, I just started playing this game, so I'm not very good. But big name titles are starting to come to GeForce now. So at, at one point, it was like there's all these games, but some of the big titles that you really wanted to see weren't there. Well, last month, Call of Duty showed up. So I think it's uh, Modern Warfare 2 and 3 and Warzone are all on here now. And that's part of NVIDIA's big thing they signed with Microsoft to basically start allowing some of these Xbox Game Pass games over and there's a there's a bunch of layers to that agreement but um, you know it's it's paving the way for other stuff like Overwatch 2 is coming that's part of the CES announcement Overwatch 2 Diablo 4 uh, some of these Blizzard titles uh, will start showing up here and some of these big game developers that were a little bit not quite sure what to make of uh, cloud gaming at first like back when Stadia was kind of trying to push forward there were a lot of them that were like eh, licensing we don't really want to mess with any of that kind of stuff we're starting to see them come around we're starting to see uh some of this stuff work out and uh and that's i you know the the performance of um i don't want to be the heavy i'm gonna go medium the performance of geforce now is is one thing so if, if the performance is great like stadia performed really well too so i don't want to act like it didn't uh, GeForce now can have great performance, great graphics, uh, low latency. I can jump in. Like I never have to wait. I've got the advanced or the ultimate tier here. Uh, you never have to wait. And for 20 bucks a month, that's way cheaper than buying a bunch of games and, um, um, and trying to go buy a gaming rig and all that stuff, stuff I'm just not going to do if I'm being honest. Um, I mean, my mouse, I don't feel like my mouse has got enough sensitivity here. And so, you know, to me, like being able to just jump in and never have to wait on updates. Like my kids sometimes want to play Fortnite and they're like, yeah, I'll jump in. I'm ready to go. And they're like, oh, we got an update. And so well, I'll see you in an hour. Um, that's just not a thing with, with game streaming. Uh, it's not a thing I've got to worry about too much. And so um, I love some of that stuff. But as good as all that stuff is, uh, as, as nice as all that stuff is, none of it matters if there's no games to play. So at the end of the day, if, if if I can't get uh, into the game that I want to play, who cares how good it streams? It, it doesn't really matter. Who cares how good it looks? Which this looks amazing, by the way. Um, but who cares about any of that stuff if, if at the oh crap, if at the end of the day I can't play any of the games that I want to? And we're seeing that finally start changing. Um, and that was one of the big things that I was I was concerned about with um, GeForce Now at the beginning was that you know if. If we can't get these big name developers on board, these game developers, if they don't care about game streaming, then it doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, um, you know, it doesn't matter how good the the technical prowess of a service is if, at the end of the day, I can't play the game I want to play on it. And so uh, we're seeing the end of that era, I think. And I I feel like in 2024 we're going to see a ton of great new games 
uh, show up on this service. But look at this. I mean, this game's wild, by the way. There's a whole crowd watching us, you know, shoot each other. Um, I think it's supposed to be all digital, though. I don't think these people, you're as a person, you're actually in the game here or in the in the arena. You're virtually in it or something. But I mean, like, you're getting full ray tracing here. So you see all the lighting effects on the floor and all that kind of stuff. And because we're a screen recording here, we're only doing 1080p. So I mean, you can crank this up to 1440, crank it up to 120 frames. This this uh, screen doesn't support it. I mean, even at that, I mean, this looks awesome. I'm really failing my team here, by the way. I'm supposed to be like collecting coins and doing stuff, not running around and showing you shiny walls. Uh, but you get the gist here. Um, there is just no latency whatsoever. So hopefully you can hear, kind of, you can hear my space bar. Okay, and you can see, you can hear the click of my mouse. Like there, there's just no latency there. I mean, that is immediate. Um, and I, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say about GeForce Now other than uh, it's it's amazing. Uh, the, the games that that you can play here are awesome. Um, and, and if the game that you want uh, is here and it, it is working, then it is it is a service well worth paying for, especially if you're someone like me who doesn't want to go invest in a big gaming rig. You don't want to go invest in a bunch of games. I just I just want to see what shows up here and then try it and play it and enjoy it. And when I'm done, close it up and move on and not really have to think about updating. And God, did I need to update my graphics card? And I need to probably go buy some more RAM. Well, guess what? NVIDIA servers have all that stuff covered. They're, they're going to make sure that you always have the best possible gaming experience. And man, it, Hopefully you can tell by watching this just how good this is. I mean, it's it's so impressive. It's so much fun to play. And it's so hard to make a video when a game like this is playing right in front of me. I want to do this instead, if I'm being completely honest. And, and that's what I want you all to do. I want you all to check this out. Go get, get a day pass. Open your Chromebook up and go and check out GeForce Now because... As good as it was last time we made a video about it, it has gotten so much better. It, it, it's just unbelievable how good this service has become. And that's all I really wanted to tell you about today. So that's it for this one. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up, head down there, hit that subscribe button, and be sure to ring the notification icon if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Till next time, we'll see you.